Hi there, so today we're going to make the turkey and bacon meatloaf, an absolute family favourite and I'm sure one that you'll love. Going to make a turkey meatloaf. And I've just realised I can cook it in the air fryer as well, or in the halogen oven. Makes it even better. Um, really, really, really easy and actually um, I went to Aldi late last night to see what they had left. Plenty of this. So we thought we haven't had turkey meatloaf for quite a while. So we thought we'd give it a bash today. So, but I'm going to cook the, going to cook some veggies to mix into the whole mix first. So I'm just going to quickly sort of um, fry them off. So I've got a bit of leek and a bit of uh, courgette to sort of go in. I've already washed them. I will bake you an entire cheesecake if you can go one video without saying um. How many times have I said it so far? Like twenty. Well, there you go then. So I'm not going to. To worry too much about finely dicing that, so that's going to be swept down, sweated down, and then mixed in with the uh, with the turkey. A bit of butter. <laughs> a bit. Well, this is a meal for four, uh, so I'm going to line. I've got nice sort of uh, loaf tin. I'm going to line the loaf tin with the bacon in a second. We're going to mix the veggies with the turkey mince uh, in the bowl with an egg. And I also have some fresh, you know this sunshine that we've had the past couple of days? The, my sage plant has gone a little bit Ooh, bananas. A um, so it's got loads of fresh leaves on there. So we've got fresh sage there. And we'll do the usual garlic powder. We had some lovely comments on YouTube today. Um, they, they, uh, one person really, really likes the berry bake. Okay. Um, and someone else said that they really liked our style of videos. <laughs> you mean haphazard? Yeah, so <laughs> they were like, love the raw love, and yeah. unfiltered videos, you're like, thanks! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah. because it's too hard to edit my voice out along with your ums and ahs. So we have about, that was about 25-30 grams of butter. Oh well done, are you doing directions now? Not really, oh. but that was about. Do you know, I had a little bit of a sort of say mild panic this morning. I don't panic too often when the kids go <laughs> missing. Um, but I came downstairs at sort of 7.30. The dog was missing. <laughs> there was no coffee made. And the house was quiet. So I was like, well who the hell's out and why isn't there coffee made? <laughs> um, so these two, unbeknownst Someone. to me, had swapped their, uh, their dog walking duties. So that one there stayed in bed. Not too late. You were up just after eight, weren't you? I was up at half seven, but then I had loads of comments to respond to, so All I didn't right. get out of bed until eight. Uh, and this one, uh, uh, what time did you actually leave the house this morning to go walk the dog? Ten past seven. Was it? Ten mm. past seven. Jesus. You failed to do your duty though, you failed to make the coffee before you went out. Diane said, did you see my post earlier about the Keto magazine, you could make a fortune? No, I didn't. So Diane found the Keto magazine in Tesco, you know, okay. someone posted about it a couple of days ago. Yes. But apparently it's 9 .99. And she's like, what, not... for a magazine? Yeah, she's like, not for that amount. And then she said, "You were, uh, we, we could make a fortune if we made one, as long as we didn't sell it for 9 .99. Well, first thing Diane, I can promise you, we will never sell something that overpriced for a magazine. For a magazine. What are you putting in there? This is about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We know we like our garlic. To be fair, it's not in the recipe if you um, if you follow the recipe exactly. Um, however, it does give it a little bit of extra flavour. What's in the pan so right, far? So I am sweating down a uh, hundred grams of leek with two hundred grams of courgette which is going to go into the, in with the turkey, to sort of bulk it out. Sue says, OMG, yes, 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 we need a mag. What, what, what? <laughs> Sue, <laughs> I'm currently writing two books as we Actually, speak. Actually, uh, three. Three? Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, three. They don't know about two of them. Uh, so I've uh, roughly chopped the fresh uh, uh, sage. Very green pan. It's a very green pan. Yes, it is a very green pan. Right, okay, so I've got the turkey mince. This is the 7% turkey mince. You could use the two if you wanted, um, but this is um, still high enough in protein. Um, plenty of this available yesterday. And I got this because there was no pork. 
But then when we got it, it was like, oh yeah, we haven't had turkey meatloaf for a little while. So I've got the mince uh, turkey in here. Um, we have an egg that sort of got slightly battered. But stayed intact. But stayed intact. And I'm gonna mix in now the veggies. I mean, this is a, this is such an easy little dish to do, but it's just super stunning. So is this magazine monthly? Or no, <laughs> it is not. I refuse. No, the magazine that they, they see in, is it, is it a monthly magazine? No, it's not. I'm not making a magazine every single month. Sue. Diane says weekly. Weekly. <laughs> Sue says more recipes and quarterly. Quarterly See, doesn't sound bad. Quarterly, but that's almost a cookbook. But yeah, I just don't get the point. <laughs> right, all I've done is I've mixed in the turkey mince with the, with the, the sweated off vegetables, a um, little bit of seasoning, a bit of salt, a little bit of garlic and the sage. I've got smoked bacon. I've got smoked uh, streaky bacon here. Um, you could use uh, unsmoked, you could use back bacon, whichever you prefer. Scrap that. What have I not done? Grease proof? No, not grease proof. I suddenly realised how do I get it out? The dog's come to play. He's heard you're wrapping giant chickens in peace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is a wider tin. Um, you could use a standard loaf tin. But I am going to uh, lay bacon over the top as well. The sun is really not making... Is it not? No. Well, never mind. I just want to fill... The low tip. This smells amazing. So if your tray is longer and narrower, then you'll be able to get all eight rashers sort of laid out and then it will fold over. This one's obviously a big fat one. So I've got sort of four and a half, five rashers at the bottom and I'm gonna put three rashers on the top. And then I'm just gonna squeeze it sort of together just a little bit. Just to sort of trap it in. Yeah, see the th three rushes on top is... It's essentially like a pie, but the bacon is the pastry. Yeah, the bacon is the pastry, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you get, you get this. So, there you go. So put the three, lay three bits of bacon on top. And maybe could have done with a little bit more uh, foil, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to seal it in. How would they cook it if they don't have a halogen oven? Oh, just in the oven. It's probably going to take the best part of... Sorry, do you want me to do this for YouTube? Yes. Uh, I don't need to know. You're making it. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a normal oven, that's going to take a good sort of 30 to 40, 30 to 40 minutes, about 180. Um, what I would do is, uh, after 30 minutes, I'd sort of peel the, the foil back mm -hmm. and let you know, let the heat get to yeah, it yeah. and let it go nice and crispy. Let it go brown. Let it go brown. Um, Is not, it going to take less time in the halogen oven then? Or um, more? It will, no, it'll probably take less time. Say more or less. I mean, I, first time I'm going to try it in the halogen, so I don't know really. Um, it better take longer than 45 minutes because that's how long I'm going to be out running. Or you, you'll get a phone call from Louis and you'll have to sprint the last two miles. So I hope you found that useful. Um, want to see any more of our videos? Then hit subscribe or come and find us on Facebook.